Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the belly press test. And the purpose of this test is to look at the subscapularis muscle to see whether the tendon is torn, whether there's a muscle lesion, or whether the muscle is generally weak. Just before we go into the test, we're going to mention that we're only going to be repeating the test on our patient's right arm. We're not going to be demonstrating it to you on the left side as well, and that's just to save time on the video. But of course, in practice, you always want to compare the two. So how do we go through the test? So the examiner first is going to place one hand on our patient's belly. I'm just going to bring our patient's arm forward so we can do that. Now, the patient is then going to bend their elbow to put their hand on top of the examiner's hand. From there, we're going to ask our patient to press into their belly. However, it's very important that we get the technique for this correctly. So one way you can describe it to your patient is to make sure that they press into their belly whilst drawing their elbow forwards. And this ensures that we're definitely looking at medial rotation of the shoulder. So that's what we're going to ask our, do, uh, our patient to do. I'm going to ask you to press into your belly whilst bringing your elbow forwards. And go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Excellent. And relax. And that's the test. So a positive result in this test would either be an inability for your patient to bring the arm uh, against their belly in that, ma in that manner with the elbow coming forward or a distinct weakness compared to the other side. And if your patient does present with any of those things, then that might tell you that the subscapularis muscle is torn or the tendon is torn or that they have a profound weakness in that area. Now, things we find in common practice, and we really wanted to uh, go into this section in much detail because the technique for this test is really, really important. So generally, if you ask someone to put their hand on their belly and push into their belly, the first thing you'll notice they'll do is they'll draw the arm into more, the shoulder into more extension, or they might draw the arm into more adduction, adduction. And the reason that we don't want them to do that is because that will generate activation of the pec major. It may also generate activity of the latissimus dorsi too, and therefore it's not going to isolate the subscapularis muscle. And the other thing in relation to technique is you, the examiner's technique. So what you're going to be feeling for is the patient's ability to move into their arm. And you've got to also think about where the patient is pushing against you in relation to their hand. So for example, if the patient is really pushing in with their fingers, then that might tell you that they're really, they're really flexing their wrist. And actually that's got nothing to do with subscapularis. Or it might be that they're pushing with the heel of their hand and that's more likely to bring their shoulder in an extension. And again, it's not gonna give you an accurate measure. So make sure that when they're doing the test, they're pushing with an equal weight through the whole hand as well as bringing their elbow forwards and if they're not able to do that make sure you can correct them so you get the proper technique for the test.